That was Bob Nissen, people. Come on, put your hands together, people. Put your hands together. Did I say that you got them? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Coming to the stage, our next comedian is Stella Valente. Come on, people. Put your hands together for Stella. How you doing? Oh, all right. Uh, something you might not know about me by just looking at me. I've appeared in 53 LinkedIn searches this week. <laughs> I know, you want me, yeah? Um, I'm originally from New York, any New Yorkers here? No. Um, well, I'm not there either. And, <laughs> there's a reason. I remember I, that moment when I was just sitting in my little apartment in the Lower East Side watching the movie Anne Frank thinking, She's got a better apartment than I do. <laughs> and all that closet space. And talk about neighbors who look out for you, you know? Um, but I came to LA and I m found a guy that had a, 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 a rent controlled apartment. He was looking for a roommate. And I kind of overlooked the scary roommate for the like screaming deal. And two weeks after I moved in, he told me he was in uh, San Quentin for seven years. <laughs> I was like, oh, you mean San Francisco adjacent, <laughs> San Quentin. <laughs> then, uh, so, uh, so I told him I wanted to get like a ring doorbell or something. And he goes, I don't like cameras. So some, and then he told some like dreary story about some prison yard scuffle or something. And uh, he bought a baseball bat and put that behind the door as our wireless security system. <laughs> yeah. No dates ever came back. <laughs> um, I found my underwear drawer messed up. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I took action. I put all the period panties on top. Oh. <laughs> um, so one day, I come in, and he's laying on his bed, sleeping. He's like this, and he's, and he's choking. He's going <laughs> And you know when you have that moment of like panic and clarity? <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I can have this whole place to myself. It's all mine. It's all mine. It's all mine. So uh, I did go get him. And, um, and apparently he took an Ambien and fell asleep with a piece of meat in his mouth. The only time he's ever done that outside of prison. <laughs> and so, um, so, um, so, so he wanted to. Re I've saved his life, and he wanted to repay me. And he said he would beat up. He asked me if he want if I wanted him to beat up a boyfriend that wronged me. And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> I was like, No, 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 no. I'm like, No, yeah, totally, totally. But just don't hurt his face because he's an actor and he owes me money. <laughs> so. Um, I went to 12 years of all-girl Catholic school. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Now do you want me? <laughs> uh, it even sounds like a porno, right? 12 years, all-girl Catholic school. Um, but we actually learned sex education from a nun. I mean, who better to teach her about sex than a celibate lesbian? <laughs> and, um... Uh, they, she, they basically made us feel so guilty about having sex, and to this day, I mean, that's what makes it so good. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> um, one time, Sister Rita Marie kissed me. I was like, sister, your whisker. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I um, I'm married. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and I uh, I'm in a mixed marriage. I married a Brit. 
Ooh. Yeah, it makes cooking very easy. <laughs> Doesn't have to be good. Doesn't have to have any flavor. Matter of fact, the more it looks like rations, the more it's like he's at home. Uh, he is a winner of an Academy Award. And uh, yeah, yeah, my husband's a winner. And I'm very, very proud of him and uh, proud to be his wife and his plus one. <laughs> yeah, we get invited to some really, really cool parties. And I mean, everybody at these parties is somebody, but I don't ever recognize anybody. So when he gets to the parties, he just like works the room and I just work a martini and, and my comedy bits on like random people. And so there's this guy who's just standing there out, you know, it was the Hollywood Hills, he's looking at the stars. And I'm like, hey, did you know that Jeff Bezos wants to store garbage in space? He goes, I did know that. And oh did you know there's people who already are trying to clean up the garbage that's in space? And I said, you know what I say to all this? Jeff, when you going? And he says, look, we got to keep it down because there may be an Alexa listening and I have a three picture deal with Amazon. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so uh, I, um, uh, I, I did a fundraiser a few years ago with Fran Drescher. You guys know who she is? She's yeah. the, the nanny. Yeah. Um, for breast cancer. She had breast cancer. And um, it's amazing in a society where we were, we're so obsessed with breasts, right? I mean, they're, they're beautiful. Even women, men, we're all obsessed with breast. No cure for breast cancer. But you know what there is? Three boner pills. If there was dick cancer, there'd be a cure tomorrow. So, um, so we did, the, we did this, uh, this fundraiser, and she's, she's like, with these two fingers, you can feel yourself up. Not only are you protecting yourself from breast cancer, but you're also giving yourself Another good reason, you don't need men. <laughs> so please, support breast cancer research so we can all keep our breasts. Thank you so much. Yay. Can you take this? Oh, that's my turn. I'm getting tired of holding my stomach oh. in. <laughs> Oh man, doesn't she have a beautiful name? I like her name, Stella Valente. Yeah, Italian. <laughs>